Hello and welcome to Konnichi Value. I'm Ray Saito and today I'm going to deep dive into Tokyo Corporation. Is it the Evergrande of Japan or a grand slam in the making? You see, Tokyo Corporation is arguably the most important company in Japan's urban development industry. The company was founded in 1922 and has become one of Japan's biggest conglomerates. This is a conglomerate with a multifaceted business portfolio. It owns much of Tokyo's extensive metro network, which ferries millions of commuters across the city every day and basically owns and constructs almost every building that you associate with modern Tokyo. However, Tokyo's financial position has been challenged in recent years. Earnings have been declining at an average annual rate of minus 47.9%, while revenues have been diminishing at an average rate of minus 6.7% per year. But Tokyo remains undeterred, relying on an unwavering belief that Tokyo's retail market will bounce back and a tourism boom will revitalize its commercial buildings and complexes, which basically means that Tokyo is betting on Tokyo to become one of the world's biggest tourist destinations and continue to grow for a long time to come. Therefore, in this video, I want to go through some of the most ambitious projects that Tokyo has planned in the future and is already building. And let's start with the Greater Shibuya projects. Basically every new building you see around Shibuya Station is or will be built by Tokyo. Their grand plan is to create an urban utopia, a harmonious blend of work, residential and recreational spaces. Several projects have already been built, such as Hikariye, Scramble Square, Shibuya Stream, which is Google Japan's HQ, and Fukuras, home of Japan's highest rooftop nightclub, Selavi. Each one an enormous gamble on the corporation's future. However, this is really just the start of what they're building in Shibuya. Another massive tower that will be finished this year in November is the Shibuya Sakura Stage. This is a multi-district endeavor that promises a blend of commercial, residential and cultural spaces. Just a few months later, in spring 2024, the doors to Tokyo Plaza Harajuku, Harakado, a new shopping landmark in Harajuku, will swing open. The design is incredibly complex, mirror facades and a jungle inside for shoppers to get excited of how the future of shopping will look like. Meanwhile, neighboring Shibuya, in the district of Daikanyama, a new multi-purpose building is being constructed called Forest Gate Daikanyama Project, which will be opened in October 2023. This building aims to redefine retail and housing by being completely carbon neutral and also almost completely made out of wood. It has large outdoor areas and a beautiful park built inside it that anyone can visit. Let's move on to the dirtier districts of Tokyo, namely Shinjuku. And in Shinjuku, the most known red light district in Japan, Kabukicho. This year, Tokyo just finished construction of Kabukicho Tower, Japan's to date largest multi-purpose complex with both hotels, movie theaters, and performance venues. This colossal tower represents a significant investment for Tokyo and aims to change the image of Kabukicho as a red light district into a family-friendly area. If this bet succeeds, it could revitalize the whole neighborhood and pave the way for a new massive tourist destination. Next on, we have the Futakotamagawa Gamble. In 2015, Futakotamagawa witnessed a revolution. The completion of the second phase of this Tokyo development in this area was hailed as a triumph, 
turning a once sleepy suburban neighborhood into a vibrant urban oasis. A key aspect of this transformation was the addition of Tako Tamagawa Rice Towers, a multi-purpose complex that brought in approximately 10,000 new workers and created a bustling hub of activity. However, the question looms large. At what cost? While this development product brought an urban renaissance to the area, the economic viability is less than certain. With office space being less sought after and Tokyo's biggest client in the area, Rakuten, on the brink of bankruptcy, the massive complex could soon be abandoned. And lastly, I want to present Tokyo's ultimate gamble, the Shibuya Upper West project. Nothing quite encapsulates Tokyo's audacious vision like Shibuya Upper West Project. The planned development, a collaboration of L. Catterton Real Estate, is an audacious endeavor that will reshape the very skyline of Tokyo. The project, set to complete in 2027, will feature a towering 330 meter skyscraper that will stand as the tallest mixed use building in Japan. The Shibuya Upper West project isn't just a skyscraper, it's a daring statement of intent. Its floor space is the biggest of any commercial building in Japan, and it's really a bet for Tokyo that Shibuya will grow massively over the coming years. If this project succeeds, it could secure the company's fortune for the next generation. But if it fails, the financial ramifications could echo the collapse of the Chinese company Evergrande. Tokyo's ambitious urban development strategy is a precarious balancing act. The economic uncertainties posed by a recovering global economy, changing retail landscapes and evolving residential demand makes the real estate market a minefield. Yet. Tokyo is charging headlong into this uncertain territory, much like Evergrande did before its fall. What makes this gamble even more daring is the scale at which Tokyo is operating. The company isn't merely dabbling in a few projects. It's reshaping entire neighborhoods, pouring billions of yen into the concrete and steel skeletons that will define Tokyo's future. It's an all or nothing game and the stakes couldn't be higher. But for Tokyo, a company that has shaped Tokyo's past, there seems to be an unshakable belief that its ability to shape the city's future is in their hands. So the question I want to end this video with is what do you think? Will this audacity prove to be Tokyo's triumph or its downfall? Likely only time will tell. Thank you and goodbye.